Let me show you what we do. It's a very eclectic and diverse combination of many art forms, only limited to and by the individual. This is what role bidding is. After you've been skating for over a decade, you start to think about how you actually got to the point where you're at. Rollerblading, I thought it was ready to be mainstream when it wasn't, and ultimately failed. This banishment from action sports, our, our exile, is really has been the greatest blessing. The youth is the future. We're in the young stage, and we're going backwards to fix the cracks and the foundation. We've seen these other action sports go through a lot of the same stuff. It's really going to take time. It is slow, controlled growth rather than this huge explosion which took place in 96, 97. It was short-lived and I don't miss it despite the state of the industry today. Living rich in a poor way. The rollerbladers right now will have gone through a struggle for something that they believe in. We're the ones that really care about rollerblading. When you take a look and see how far skating's come, it's, it's ridiculous. Especially when you think about how young rollerblading is. It's really gone full circle. At this point, we've done all the fine tuning, and now it's time to build the culture around rollerblading. Our sport is at such a high level right now. There's no boundaries in rollerblading. Whatever you want to do, you can do. I just like to see cool shit get done, man. Try to help it grow. And sometimes we forget that when we're standing in a circle with our back to the world, no one else can see it. Imagine if we had the exposure we had 10 years ago. And when it all comes back around, we'll know that the people that are there at the top representing the sport will have paid their dues and are people that we are proud to have representing rollerblading.